It is Monday morning and I have pulled Kite out because we are riding him today. He is just getting a nice little exercising ride, getting him moving. Nothing too difficult for the old man today. So I brush him really good. I don't want any dirt under my tack, of course. So once he is brushed good, I throw on my five star saddle pad, my master saddle, and make sure these cinches are where they fit him. I put those on loosely because they'll be tightened right before I hop on and he gets to wear the super cute teal today so he gets the teal breast collar with the matching teal boots it is so so cute so once that's all on i put on his bridle and take him to the outdoor arena because we are riding him outside today so he's got plenty of room to move when i hop on him because he is older i walk him for a while really wanting to get him warmed up so once I've walked him for a while, I ask for a nice trot. I post the trot on him, really asking him to pick his feet up and have a nice long stride. Like I said, he's just exercising today. So we'll trot this way. I'll turn around, walk a minute, trot that way, and then lope both ways. And that will conclude his whole workout for this morning. I walk him down, pet him, tell him he did really good. It was really just a nice, easy ride today. And right when I hop off, I will loosen these cinches immediately before walking him to the trailer to untack. We got to go right outside to go graze, and I was bringing in the alfalfa I had steamed for them, and Chester, of course, was being very, very nosy. He, of course, meets me inside, so I give him a lot of that good steamed alfalfa for him to snack on. He couldn't even wait. You can see him here just eating it right out of the bag. It is just so good, and they really do love it a lot. Later that night, I come back. I get Chester out. I tie him to the trailer. I take off his fly boots, and I spy his front legs. I just like really keeping on top of that in case he has any inflammation or anything, just keeping it down. And once I'm done ice vibing his legs, my dog Freely gets to come outside and run around. And of course, they all get some more steamed alfalfa. They just love it so much. All right, it is the next morning and it is Chester's turn to be ridden today. So I get him tied to the trailer, start brushing all that dust and dirt off of him, making sure he's really good and clean before I put on my tack. I get these cinches done up loosely. I switch from that teal breast collar on him to our designer tack. It is so cute. I love it. So I switch from the teal today to the designer. And on my walk to the outdoor arena, I see that he took off his fly mask and hung it on the fence, which was just so nice for him. Anyway, he is just having a chill ride again today, like Kai a little bit. I hop on, I walk around, and I decided today just to try it. It was pretty hot which I don't love and so I did decide to just trot him today and here you can see me taking him in some figure eights getting his mind to kind of calm down getting him working those feet without going too fast and he really does come down for me and give me a nice trot I like to get their brains working a little bit more especially whenever they do have the tendency to be hot or for some reason that day they've chosen that they just want to run and that's it but they cannot always do that so I just tried to really calm him down and make him do these nice little figure eights for a while once he gives me what I want I stop him pet him and walk him just a moment and hop off because he did good we want to end on a good note right when i'm down because it is a little hotter even this morning i get those boots off immediately loosen those cinches pet him of course he's just a little itchy so i scratch his face and then take him back to the trailer Of 
course, once I have all of his tack off, he gets some treats and some scratches, which he loves. And since it is really hot, I'm going to take him inside and spray him off. I really like to use the water to help cool him off, especially under a fan. Spray his legs, and then I'm going to ice vibe. I don't know if this is true at all, but I like to spray their legs a little bit before putting on the ice packs because I think it helps cool their legs down even more. I did move him in order to ice vibe, but he is still under a very powerful fan keeping him cool. So once those timers go off, I take those boots off and take him back to his stall where he can go back outside. All right, good morning. We are starting our morning off by steaming some hay in our hay gain hay steamer. So I put the hay in a hay gain hay net, put it down in the steamer, fill up the water, plug it in, turn it on, and let that hay steam for about an hour before lifting the lid to all that Good steam, pulling the bag out, and heading out to the barn. Today, we are going to be riding kite again. But before we get to that, I am going to get Zoro out of his stall and get him outside. I get asked a lot about him, but he is completely retired. I do not ride him at all, but he has a really good life running around in the pasture. So once he's outside, I go to Chester's stall, give him some of that good steamed alfalfa, and he was napping. So I did feel a little bad to wake him up, let him go outside, and then I grab Kite and take him to the trailer so we can start getting him tacked up. Today on Kite, we're going to be switching it up just a little bit and doing some trot poles or some of you may call them trot rails like I do. So I start brushing him. I want to get him nice and clean before I put on my tack and I am sticking with the designer theme with him today and he's being just a little impatient at the trailer. Of course he is. He is a grumpy old man, of course. So I go for the designer on him today and when I do trot poles, I put boots on all four four feet. This is just to ensure that if he does scrape a pole, his leg is protected. That is bound to happen, especially if you have a horse that wasn't, you know, trained using them or you don't use them all the time. And sometimes they just step on him. So I want to make sure he's really protected. Here you can see Chester really enjoying his time outside as I go to the arena to grab my trot rails out of the grass and get them set up. I am setting them up, like I said, to just trot today. So I'm doing five heel toe steps apart about for each of them and I only set out three today. Now that the arena is set up and ready, I throw on my Troxel helmet before untying him from the trailer and putting on his bridle. Before I do the rails on him, also because he's older, but I would do it on any horse, I want to make sure he is good and warm. These rails ask them to really move and bend their body in a different way than they are used to, so I make sure he goes both ways, gets really warm. Here you can see that I walked for a while before asking for a trot, and then a lope and I do this both directions before letting him look at the trot poles. When I decide that he is good and warm I walk him to the other side of the arena where the poles are set up and let him look at them so I walk over one way turn around and walk back over before kicking him up into a trot and the first time over he gave me a weird little lope moment and then he really got his rhythm. I think he really really loves these and I love them for building his top line, building their core and for just overall joint flexibility they are amazing for all of it such a great workout for them pet him to tell him that he did really really good bring him back over to walk over just to finish it very calm and then I hop off and get him back to the trailer where I'm going to pull all of that tack off of him and of course I do like to take the boots off first because they are known to trap the most heat.
Once I have everything off of him, he gets a treat because he did so good. I put on his fly mask and turn him out so he can go hang out outside, get plenty of time eating some grass and just enjoying the time out in the sun. And he trotted off. So obviously his workout was not too hard today. I was a little baffled, but I'm always happy to see it. Once I get that gate shut, I go inside and grab a wheelbarrow because feed was delivered and we got to get it in all of their feed barrels. So I throw the bags of feed into the wheelbarrow and take it down to the back hall where I can dump it into Kite's feed bin. And then Chester gets some more steamed alfalfa as a nice snack. Of course, he was begging while I was dumping the feed, so he had to get something. While he's eating his steamed alfalfa, I make his feed bag that he gets in the morning with his supplements. And right now all he gets is a quinity powder and some powdered omeprazole as a preventative. And then later that day he had a vet visit. So he gets just a nice routine exam, making sure he feels his best so he can perform his best, see if anything needs to be addressed, and just making sure he is at the top of his game and that he is completely comfortable. Good morning. We're going to the barn and I'm not riding today so I'm going to try and get him out. If I can, Chester has to stay in his stall for right now. And I woke up at 5, did some editing, sent it off to the brand I was working with, fixed what they wanted me to fix, sent it back, and fell back asleep. And my plan was to wake up at 6.30 and get to the barn at 7. It is currently 8.43 because I fell asleep and did not get up for a while. But we were taking freely so he can have some fun at the barn today since we have kind of a chill day. The only horse I was able to get out right now is Kite. So now we're gonna go let Freely run around in the arena and I brought my rail risers for the trot poles so we can jump him a little bit. I think he's gonna have so much fun. He always has so much energy and I edit all the time. So I think bringing him out here in the morning, letting him run, jump, whatever, will be good for us. After he ran several laps around the whole arena, he helped me set up the poles. We have never done this before, but I just kind of put two next to each other and then I put one rail razor on each side of them and we go over this a few times and this is also helping me get my steps and a little cardio in. So he runs right across, he has hops for sure and I saw that this really wasn't tall enough for him so I took the two rail razors off of the first pole that you can see is very warped from the weather and stacked it to where the other pole had two rail razors on each side so it's a little higher up for him a little more of a challenge. I think he really really enjoyed that and I do ride at a boarding barn so I put my rails back in the grass where I had them and moved the barrels back so that the arena is ready and set if somebody else comes to ride and I'm just not leaving my stuff around everywhere so while I'm doing this I left freely in the truck and the AC blasting so I could cool off okay we are done jumping we've never done that before I think he had fun I'm gonna leave him in here put the parking brake on at max AC to help pull him down it is currently 81 degrees so I'm gonna go be a good citizen and move all the barrels back and put my truck poles away and then we have to make Chester a feed bag give Chester alfalfa and then I'll probably sit here and edit so that kite can be out for a good amount of time okay I've done pretty much everything that had to be done today so while kites out I'm gonna sit here and edit my trailer tour vlog because I filmed that yesterday so by the time you see this hopefully that vlog has been out and if you haven't watched it go watch it so I'm gonna do that right now <laughs> no idea it was gonna rain or storm or anything and I can hear some thunder so I'm going to get kite uh, they don't have shelters in the pasture and I don't want anybody getting struck by lightning so we're gonna go grab it I really hate driving in the rain so hopefully I can get out of here before it starts pouring 
I would have made a more valiant effort to get up early if I knew this. Not that I meant to sleep, but you know. <laughs> you have to go inside. So you don't get struck by lightning. down really fast. The sun is gone. So I wish I could leave him out, but nope. After I've tied Cozy in his stall, I drag in the alfalfa I brought today, give Chester his succeed, throw him some alfalfa to keep him busy, and this is pretty much the end of my Thursday. Alright, it is Friday morning, so I hop out of the truck at the barn and go to get Zorro. I get his fly mask on, put on his halter, and you know the drill. He gets to go outside to just go have fun and graze around. I throw Chester a little alfalfa and go to grab Kite because we are riding him again today three times in one week. Pretty crazy, but I know he has a horse show ahead, so I want him to be good and in shape. So I tie him to the trailer, start brushing him, and throw my tack on. a more simple ride for him. I hop on, walk for a little bit, and then ask him for a trot. And today I'm trotting big laps around the arena, really getting him stretched out, letting him cover some good ground. So I do this both directions. So I'll trot a few big laps one way, cut through the middle like a giant figure eight, and trot some laps the other way. Once I'm done doing the big trot laps, I pull him into the middle, walk for a minute, and then trot some small circles this way. Just really, really trotting today to build up that muscle and keep him moving. So after I'm done trotting some small laps, I lope this way, really asking him to pick his feet up, and then I will stop, turn around, walk a little bit, and repeat this the other way. Once I'm done, I walk him out and hop off and my belt buckle totally did not come off. You did not see that. I walk him back to the trailer where I get all of that tack off pretty quick. take him inside and today I'm going to ice vibe his front legs after his mini workouts this week just really keeping on top of that so while I am getting the ice packs out of the freezer and I come back to him in the what we call the farrier area it's some cross ties and he has his foot in a blue bucket and I don't even know where it came from Once 
once the boots are done, I throw his fly boots back on and get him outside. And that concludes his day and my full week. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.